This is not your average Minecraft video. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This is episode two. Go check out episode one first, then come back here for the awesome action. All right, continue. Today, we are going to be playing Minecraft, but I will only be allowed to walk in two straight lines. That means from the moment I spawn, I can either go left, right, straight, or behind. I cannot, under any circumstance, leave that line. Ever. In today's video, we are finally going to start on that farm, go hunt down some diamonds, and explore the world farther than I ever have before, and maybe, just maybe, stop a forest fire. Just a quick note, if you guys enjoyed today's video, hit that subscribe button for more awesome content. Alright, welcome back to Minecraft Straight Line Challenge, episode number two. Now, I got a few plans for today. Um, you know, I think I'm going to be looking to make that farm that we did not have time to in the first episode. And then I also want to try to find diamonds. Yes, last week it was, uh, you know, it was that iron. But now we're going to be looking for diamonds. And then lastly, I am going to be looking to adventure around. I only went, uh, you know, a thousand blocks in each direction not even that far honestly I mean I'm over exaggerating by a lot so I think if we get those three things done today if we get diamonds if we get a farm going and we oh it's just Kelsey oh, Bruh. I am already getting shot at I'm already getting shot at oh gosh okay I think that's a skeleton jockey I think that is a skeleton jockey bro I I can't I can't get back to my house what are you doing hello please are you, you know what? I'm coming in. I'm fighting you. I'm fighting you. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Oh, yeah. You got nothing on me. Yeah, you're stuck under a tree. Oh! As I was saying before, I was so rudely interrupted by that skeleton jockey. Um, what I'm going to be looking to do, I really need to get a farm going. As you can tell, I literally only have one steak, which I'm going to eat now. And then that's all of our food. We have nothing left. So I really need to get a farm going. So what I am going to be doing is I am just going to go around and collect as many wheat seeds as I possibly can. And then try to start on a little wheat farm. I'm thinking maybe I honestly will put it in the water right here. Or go back and then, you know, make it uh, near my house that's closer. That's probably what I'll end up doing. But uh, that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to try to collect as many wheat um, seeds as I possibly can. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Ooh, okay, the seed dropped just out of reach. Uh, what can I do with you? Watch this. Watch. Watch this water bucket trick. Ready? Oh my gosh, that was a fail. Are you kidding me? It ended up going that way. Okay, well, I guess we're just going to use the block trick then. Uh, oh, okay. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. There we go. Oh my gosh, that was a fail. This one. Oh yeah, I can crouch. Okay, now this one's really close. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. There we go. Okay, it is becoming nighttime, and I spent a lot of this day just collecting seeds. And it is way harder uh, than you think to collect seeds if you can only go in a straight line. You can't really go that far out, see? Um, so even if there was some seeds that spawned, sometimes I couldn't get them. So I ended up only getting nine wheat seeds, which, hey, that's better than nothing. So now what we really need to do is just get that farm going, you know, uh, start building it out because once that we get that and we can actually start growing wheat is when we can actually start to get a ton more seeds. But I think this is a good start for now. Nine seeds is gonna be perfect. And then, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna sleep and get this next day building. Okay, so what I am thinking, I feel like this is our main path right here. I just I just have that feeling that this is our main path that way and that way. And so what I'm thinking of doing is just making the farm over here kind of towards this water area, just like right here where I kind of dug out. And then nice. um, once we get the wheat going, I want to try to get um, uh, cow's bread. I want to try to breed some chickens, some pigs. Um, but to do that, I need wheat to bring them in. And I need to actually double check on all the other breeding um, items. I can't really remember off the top of my head, but I know wheat is a, is a main priority. So I'm going to be looking to do that. Now, it is just going to be basic. I think I'm just going to do this out of cobblestone. Okay, so let's see here. What I'm thinking of doing is actually just filling in this little area right here. And then we can have a farm that is literally at our level, you know? So like build down one and then we can just walk by and, you know, trim it and everything. I think this will be good. I am now just realizing that every time I put a cobblestone block down, it should have been a grass block. That's what I'm thinking now. So I just got to go through and destroy this real quick. One second. 
Okay, see, now this is what I meant. This is what I was talking about, is I need to make these grass blocks, not cobblestone blocks. And then what I need to do is place buckets of water on either side just to make sure it is all hydrated. And then from here, um, I'm gonna go need to get a hoe and hoe all of this down, place all of the wheat seeds along here. And we're gonna do this to the other side as well, but we just won't have enough seeds yet. And then we can really get the wheat farm going. I don't know what I was thinking with cobblestone, but this may take a little bit. I'm gonna go farm for some dirt. I'm gonna go fill all of this in with water and I'll be right back. So let's finish up this farm a little bit. I'm gonna just go ahead and plant these seeds and get these going because I do not have time to waste. I really need to start making this farm and getting some food because I am gonna go hungry very, very fast. Ooh, you already grew. Okay, hey, good block. Thank you, block. That's pretty okay. good. Now, what we're gonna do with this is the exact same thing. So this is, this is not gonna be a fancy farm. It is gonna be a simple farm that is gonna do us very, very, very well. Now, what I'm thinking is I'm gonna have to place a block behind this that way I can just you know water bucket or I can break it and then water bucket that way it'll just flow down to here and then I can go and I can like I don't know maybe break a block like this like after I harvest it collect it or something like that I don't know we're gonna see Desperate times call for desperate measures, and I might have to eat you, Octopus. I really might have to eat you. I don't want to eat you, which I don't even know if I can eat you. You are so mystical and glorious. Look at you swim. But uh, yeah, I might have to eat you later. No, what I'm thinking of doing is actually I might just have to go fishing. That, that might be my only source of food. I might just fish and just fish and fish until I can finally get some type of food. The moment of truth. I am making a fishing rod. This is gonna be the one thing that is gonna keep us alive when we only have two hearts that we have absolutely no food to eat. But uh, there we go, at the farm again. Just gonna hoe all of this down, no pun intended. And then what we're gonna do now is just grab some of the cobblestone and try to line the back part of this. That way it'll just be so much easier when collecting. Look at this place now. This place is popping off. Look at this farm. It's glorious. This is a glorious one-line farm. I mean, I'd like to see you guys try better, you know? I mean, <laughs> I think I think this is pretty good. So while I wait for all this wheat to grow, which might take a lot of time, I am gonna go fishing. Woohoo! First fish caught. Let's go, baby. Sometimes when I'm just waiting here, I feel like I'm playing fishing simulator 2020, you know, they could have made the fishing a little bit faster, you know, I feel like just my thoughts you guys Okay, the sun's going down. Ooh, look at that beautiful sunset. But uh, we ended up with six raw cod and two raw salmon. Now, is the raw salmon more rare? I don't know. Is it? Does it give you more HP? I am a fish noob. I don't know anything about fish or fishing in Minecraft. It's one of the first times I've ever had to, you know, resort to fishing because I can't get food. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna fall asleep, and then hopefully, you know, maybe this food will give us that energy that energy to go out in the world and adventure so we're gonna see ah oh, a new day has started let's cook up some of this fish okay so we are i'm gonna first try the cooked cod let's just try this okay so that only gave me two and a half hearts let's see how much the salmon gives me Ooh, the salmon gave me three. Wow, a half HP, a half a bar more. Wow, that is so much better. So, like I said, I'm feeling adventurous. I am feeling very adventurous. We need to explore this world a little bit. And without further ado, I am going to go ahead and just in case we come across anything special, you know, um, what the heck am I looking for? Bruh. I'm looking for the iron. Did I put it up here? Please tell me I did. Thank you. I'm going to make an iron pickaxe just in case. Hey, you never know if you're just going to come across a random diamond or I don't know anything you need. So I'm going to make the iron pickaxe for now. I got my sword out and 
that we are, I think, you know what? Okay. Over there is those treacherous mountains I was talking about, and I don't really like it. So I think I am just going to go straight in this direction just, just for a long time until we have to absolutely turn around. So let's see what we find. Stupid trees that are always in my way. I would just walk around it if I could, but ugh, I can't. Oh, hello, sheep and cow. I am very hungry, and don't mind me if I just kill you. Thank you. <gasps> okay, okay, sheep. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay, cows, you too. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Ooh, um, can't grab that either. Man, my inventory is full. Okay, we are in a new biome. I think we are in the uh, spruce biome. I forgot what this is even called. What is this called? We are in the taiga biome, uh, not the spruce biome. The taiga biome. I don't know why I called the spruce biome, but there we go. We got new recipes. We got some new uh, trees finally, which I mean, hey, this is my fit. By the way, fun fact about me. This is my favorite block in this entire game. This log to me is just absolutely beautiful and I love the color. So that's a fun fact. There you go. What the heck is happening here? Is this a forest fire? What is, go what is going on? Oh my gosh, the lava is literally catching the entire forest on fire. Oh my gosh. Um, hello? Is anyone, is anyone gonna come and stop this? I can't go over and stop it. It's like that lava just generated and so it's now finally just moving into the forest. And there we go, we just witnessed a natural forest fire. Hmm, that's pretty, that's pretty cool. Oh, what a beautiful sunset. I am out here in this amazing world and I finally just passed through this entire biome and we're just back to a normal, you know, forest biome. So I think it's time to head back. Hey, we witnessed a forest fire. We got some more logs and now we know what's it. We got food too. We got more and more food than we ever need right now. So now we know what's in this direction. We know what's in this direction and it's time to head back without dying. So wish me luck. Spiders, please don't hurt me, please don't hurt me, please don't hurt me, please don't hurt me, thank you. I'm running, I'm just gonna run. Oh, there's zombies up here. Hello, zombie. Please do not attack me, thank you. Oh, okay, I, I took a direct skeleton shot. Let's go, let's go. Come on, man, you got nothing on me. Let's go, come on. Oh, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? You just gonna hit me with your little bow and arrow? Yeah, boy, that's what I thought. Just keep going, just keep going, just keep going, going, going. Oh my gosh, finally we made it back home. Uh, okay, how's our wheat looking? Hey, this guy's doing pretty good. What about these other guys? Hey, they're coming along. Hey, I have some more seeds. Where's my seeds? Oh, wow. Hey, look at that. I brought home three seeds for this side. There you go. Hey, look, three more seeds. So we we are gonna get a we're gonna get an animal farm going, you know. It's taken longer than I thought. I didn't realize farming was this slow. I haven't farmed in a long time, but uh I think that was a good little adventure. Now we know know what is in that direction which i think that direction is actually really cool it's got that awesome taiga biome and you know we hey look we found we found more food so we're not gonna die oh my gosh that is a terrifying noise um now what i'm thinking of doing while we still wait for the farm I think we need to go try to find some diamonds. So I think I'm gonna to try to dig down to level 16 to 14, 13-ish, and then I'm just gonna try my hardest to find diamonds, and then hopefully by then, maybe some of the wheat have, will have grown. But yep, that's the goal for tomorrow. We're gonna to find diamonds. Okay, there we go. I think we're gonna be good on food. I think we are definitely gonna be good on food. We're not gonna go through this much while we're down caving. Now, I only have one iron pickaxe, which honestly is kind of bad. So what I think I'm gonna do is just make a ton of stone pickaxes. We're gonna find diamonds. Like, I'm I'm not kidding. Like, I'm literally gonna go until I find diamonds. And it might take me five hours, but I'm gonna find diamonds. I promise you that. So uh, I think I'm gonna make as many pickaxes as I can, because I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna roll through them. I, I feel like that. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine pickaxes. Like I, this is gonna, I am gonna make this happen and we're gonna go for it right now. So I'm gonna start digging down. I guess this can be our cave. Make sure, yeah, I got food, torches. Yeah, we're gonna be good. Iron pickaxe, okay. I think this is gonna be our cave. So I'm just gonna, you know, oh, I hear a zombie dying. That's always nice. Um, I'm just gonna dig straight down. I'm just gonna keep digging and hopefully we don't run into a cave, but I'm gonna go down to level 16 or like 13-ish. Okay. 
Okay, what the heck? Is this like a cave or is this a ravine? I'm very confused, but I would very much uh, not like to fall all the way down there. What the heck is this? Okay, we have made it to Y13. That is what I'm going to build on. So I'm going to build, or not build, I'm not going to build on Y13. I'm just going to keep, I'm just going to dig like this. I'm going to, so I have 13, 14, and 15 um, all the way. And uh, this is it. I mean, I'm just going to keep going in a straight line like this. And we're going to find diamonds. Like this is going to happen. So here we go. Wish me luck. Let's do some type. Oh, look at that we already found some iron in our path that is good luck this is good luck i feel i feel like it's gonna happen okay i hear a bat so does this mean we're next to a cave um i think so oh my gosh look at this i just broke this coal block and look what we got we got diamonds already guys look how far i've gone i literally started right there and i've already found a diamond oh my gosh i knew this was gonna be a lucky day um okay i'm just Bruh. gonna dig out around this and see how many diamonds we have oh my gosh i'm so excited Okay, at least two, which is good. Okay, let's just dig around this and then let's just go ahead and make room. Let's just move. Let's move this for now. And then we're just going to go ahead and collect it with the iron pickaxe. Let's go one. Okay, two. Oh my gosh. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight diamonds. Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh. We have gotten so lucky. Look, I've literally only started digging from there and I already found eight diamonds. Like this is just crazy. I'm going to keep going because I know I can find more. Okay. Look, we just started digging right through here and we already found more iron. Like guys, this trip is going so well so far. Oh my gosh. We found coal, iron and diamond. Now I guess I, I could use some redstone. I mean, I guess, yeah, I could use that. Ooh, okay, okay. I think we, yep, we finally came across redstone. We finally have done it. We've came across redstone, which I don't know what I'm going to use this for, but hey, you know what? You might as well have it rather than not have it at all. Boom, look at that. Okay, so I think I've gone far enough. I just kept digging and digging, and I'm going to run this for you guys just to show you how far I actually have been digging. I went through like four or five or six pickaxes. I don't even know, but I only found eight diamonds, but hey, I found eight diamonds. That's pretty dang good. I found 59 iron, 17 redstone, and then I mean like 80 coal. Like that is just insane. So, I mean, look how long this tunnel is. I have been digging for a while. I mean, you can't even barely see the end of it all the way down there so um this this is definitely a success success we are gonna head back and count our loot and make some armor and oh i'm just excited all right making it back home it's daytime wow it's actually midday that's pretty nice let's go check on the farm real quick before we get this loot going Ooh, okay okay we got some wheat we got some wheat we have two completed wheat that is perfect okay i'm gonna just go put all my stuff away and we're gonna come back for that there we go. We are going to get this iron smelting. We are going to have some awesome armor finally and some good tools that we can finally use to, you know, on everything. I mean, oh, this cannot make me more happy. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, let's go check on this farm. Um, So I know, I think this one is full. I think this one's absolutely full. I don't think this one is. I think this one has just a little bit longer and same with that one back there. But I think this one is absolutely full. So I'm going to go ahead and break this and see if we can get it. Boom. We got we and we got four seeds out of that. Let's go. Let's just continue to play. And we are actually farming now. We are legitimately farming. This is exciting. Now, this just goes to show how much of a Minecraft noob I have been lately. Cause I, I haven't played a, a legit uh survival Minecraft in quite a while. And so I kind of forgot that, you know, okay, we can only breed like mushrooms and cows, and I can't remember the other one, but we're gonna go particularly for cows 
cows with the wheat now and we could also make a chicken farm so that i think that's going to be our goal for the next episode is we are going to make a chicken farm we are going to make a cow farm we're going to go out into the world and try to lure them back here which is uh i think that's going to be exciting and then um what else can we do we can also yeah oh yeah we need seeds so i mean we'll have seeds um from this wheat farm so we can go and collect the chickens as well but this episode is not done yet oh look at that okay boom look that is full grown let's break you three more seeds two more wheat let's just keep planting and uh oh this is exciting okay how is this iron doing look at that all of our iron is now smelted and look at all those levels we're getting boom okay with this this Oh, this is just going to be amazing. We are going to make a full set of iron armor right now. Oh, yeah. Let, we got that. We got that advancement. Suit up. Let's go. Boom. Now we are fully decked in iron armor. These skeletons don't know what's coming now. Now, I've had a few ideas of what I want to do with the diamond. And I think I'm going to make at least one diamond pickaxe, which, I mean, a diamond pickaxe will serve you very, very, very well. So I think I'm going to do that right now. This is the moment of truth. There's no going back. So I'm going to make one diamond pickaxe. And then, okay, we crafted it. And then I think I'm going to make a diamond sword. Yes, a diamond sword to protect me. You know, it can, it, it can only help. It can only help. So boom, there we go. We got some diamond tools now finally and um i'm gonna i have three left but i don't want to waste that yet because i don't know exactly what i want to do i think maybe an axe or something i don't know i'm just i'm not gonna i'm not gonna be greedy i'm just gonna put that away for now and then put the rest of my coal in there and leave some in here and then there we go we got now got a diamond sword and a diamond pickaxe oh this is gonna be fun Okay, so through the magic of editing and the end of this episode, I mean, we have done so freaking good. We've got, we, we completed the, the diamond tools. That was a check. We went adventuring and saw a forest fire. Uh, that's obviously a check. And then we completed a farm. So this episode has just been crazy. It has been everything I could ask for. Now, the last thing we're going to do through editing, and you're, you're, you're not going to have to wait. Look, I bet it's just going to be about two seconds is, uh, you know, I'm going to, sit here i'm gonna afk let this grow harvest as much as i can and we'll end this episode off so here we go all right so after a bit of afk time this is what we're looking at right now look at this farm the sun is setting you know we're just gonna have to harvest this next episode and uh guys if you enjoyed the video smash that like button it's gonna help out tremendously uh, comment down below what you want me to do in further episodes. Subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, as always, my name is Ben, also known as Bix Bash, and I'll see you guys in the next video.